Hi there, my name's Nev, and in this video I'm going to paste this page into an HTML document. Uh, we're going to do it uh, quick and dirty style. You can see there are plenty of images, and to put this in manually would take some time. Uh, I've centered one of these images there just to show that, and I've got some indenting and formatting up here in different fonts to see whether they preserve as well. Okay, we're going to do it via Word because if I do it directly from OneNote, I seem to lose the images. So if I do Control Control A and then Control A again, I'll get the whole lot. We'll copy it. We'll open a Word document and we'll paste it in there. While that's opening, I've got Visual Studio open. I have got my page split, and I can see you can see last time I put it in that image there did not center, uh, but the rest of it is in there reasonably well. If you look at the code, it's quite a mess with massive slabs of alt text, uh, which it's done from screen reading. This is all alt text here. Anyway, we'll have a look at that as we go. We've got our Word document open here. We've got a blank one. We'll make that full screen. I tend to, depends on what time you, what width you want your um, web page to be, I tend to make the big margins, paste all my content, um, and uh, then the images will, if you've got wide images, they should automatically size to the width of your, of your uh, Word document. You can see actually these images, some of these images are quite large. Okay, let's go. At the moment there is no heading. Let's just grab a heading and that will save us making one in HTML. Copy and Alt Tab. Uh, we'll throw that in here and that will do. All right. Uh, I don't even need to save this. Oh, hang on, let me go down. I think I'll find that image. Yes, this one is not centered. So let's center it right now. Home and center. There it is. Okay. Uh, now we can control all and copy all that. Uh, so it's on our clipboard. Go back to Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new HTML page. Uh, add new item uh, HTML page and let's call this um, paste. Okay, and add it. And so there's my paste page. Let's give it a title um, HTML paste. And you can see up here that I can. Uh, paste straight away. Control V. Oops, what's going on? Control Z. Let's go back to my Word doc. Control All and copy and try again. Paste and it's not doing anything just at the moment. Let me go back. Yeah, there it goes. All right, took a little while. It's done an awful lot of work here in generating this code. So we have got these diagrams. Oh look, it's centered that particular diagram there, so it will do that as well. Okay, now let's click on a diagram and on an image and you can see all of that there is alt text. Now as a human, you could delete all that alt text and just put a short sentence in there. So uh, the alt text is going whoa, up there. And this is um, yeah, alt text, machine generated text. Let's just call that um, uh, new page VS new page image. Okay, so that's our alt text there we've got the height now at the moment that image is sitting in my app data local file 
So what I want to do is, if I were to go and look and open this page directly, paste, um, it's going to draw the images from the C drive. It's running locally and it's going to look up the images locally. Looks like it's going to take a while to load. Uh, that's not going to work for me when I put it on a website because no one else can see my C drive. So I'm going to have to find this location here. I'm going to copy it. C drive, copy it, and go into my C drive. Let me open a new window, which is Windows E, and uh, put that in here. And paste and there's my images there's quite a few of them 32 of them all right now rather than just copy all those images separately hang on were they in 01 or were they in 02 let me just go back to here uh, the images are all in 01 okay so i'm going to grab whoops i'm going to grab the 01 folder just check, yeah, 32 images. All right, I'm going to grab that 01 folder and copy it, and I'm going to put it into my images folder. Now, I just did this a minute ago, and I put my images straight into here. If I were to do that again, I would get image 001 mixed up. So this time I'm going to put in the 01 folder. If I was to do other pages... I would um, folder 02 or 03. All right, so now we're going to go back to our web page and say, all right, how am I going to find, whoops, let's go Visual Studio. We can see that we have got everything uh, in there. And what I want to do, uh, copy, Control H, which is replace. I want to replace that with the images file. Let's do that for all of them and see what we've got. 34 occurrences. So I've got images. Oh, I have not put a slash there. So what I need now is images. Uh, images 01. Control H, let's see if it puts it straight in. Control H, images 01. I want images slash 01. And let's replace all those. Okay, 34 occurrences. All right, Control S, we can save here. And let's just see if this web page is going to work. Uh, I have got to, yep, let's go back. HTML paste and the uh, let me just see it didn't open up here before let's see if it'll open up now there it is opening up and that image should be um, uh, being looked up from this images file here okay you could go and put that up on a website in fact if you want to see it on a website uh, you can see it. Oh, I thought I had it loaded. You can see it at this. Where am I? Document. You can see it. Oh, I thought I'd put the links here. Um, you can. All right. Uh, I have. I have the. You, you can load. Um, this word document up from the web um, and you will find that uh, if you click here you will see a live version of that and you can download the links at the bottom uh, will direct you to the word document with all of the other links okay thanks very much